Okay, everyone. Here's our dough. You can see it's proved three fourths of the way. Looks good. Okay, I want to take off our plastic wrap, punch. Very nice and light. Very, very nice dough. All right, I'm going to take this and we're going to cut it in half. We're going to do half of the dough. And I'm going to spray the table. I don't want to use flour because that will dry it out. So I'm going to spray the table. I'm going to get our. I just use this spatula here. Give it a cut. There we go. So now we. So this is a little different. We don't need to go and and round it and bench it. This is a little bit different. Our dough is a little different. So what we have here, we're just going to make a circle like a pizza. That's all it's going to be. We don't want it too thin. It's probably about a half inch thick. And we might be able to, we might be able to fit it on uh, one sheet pen, both of them on one sheet pen. So let me take this. This is for the next, I'm pull my sheet pen over. I, I do, I, I really think I'm gonna pick this guy up and I'm just gonna set it way over here. Let me show you. And then stretch it just a little. Just a, maybe a seven inch uh, circle is what we're looking for. That's all we want to do. Piece of paper. Okay. We don't not we do not need to do uh, any thinner than that. We want it to stay a little thick. We want to stay round because we're going to proof this again, of course, right? So we have to proof this again. So let me. Uh, Put this to the side. Now our next dough we're gonna roll out. And again, we don't have to roll it out. This is gonna be filled kind of like cinnamon rolls. We're gonna roll it like the cinnamon rolls. You know, this dough is very elastic, it's very nice. Um, it doesn't have to be real thin. So we're going to go a little bit, maybe a stretch, look how nice, and it stretches really nice too. It has a great elas uh, elasticity, Elax it stretches really good, we can't get that word, can't get that word out. Okay, so, yeah, it's, so you're, so it's probably about 16 by, uh, what, half, 9, 16 by 9 is what we're looking at. And so here's our hazelnut filling. And it's very spreadable, a very thin layer. You don't have to do a thick layer. I'll have this made for you. So we're gonna do very, very thin. Uh, layer, it looks, oh, this smells so good. It has some nice cinnamon in it. This has uh, cake crumbs in it from the tops of the cakes that we've cut we've cut before. And so we have the cake, extra cakes. We have, um, it has hazelnut flour, uh, milk, eggs, and um, the cinnamon, and that's it. I believe that's it. Anyway, the recipe is in your book. Okay, so now we're gonna start rolling. You can see, yep, you can see. So as I roll, I'm going to pull I'm gonna stretch the dough a little. See how I'm stretching? I stretch it up and roll, and stretch up and roll, and do the same thing. Stretch, roll, stretch, roll, stretch, roll, stretch. That way it kind of stretches the dough. That way you have a little bit thinner layers on the inside. You won't, you won't have a lot, of, uh, a lot of dough and no filling. Okay, so we have our end here. We're gonna just pinch it. I wanna make sure you can see. You can see how it looks. Yep. Okay, so we're gonna just pinch this guy. Make sure he's on, he stays on the bottom because we're going to twist this into a circle. Make sure he goes on the bottom. We're gonna twist this into a circle like this. Okay, and usually I'll do is 
I'll overlap the dough with the other just to make sure that the rings are even. Okay, at this point, what we want to do is move it to the pan itself and put it in the center of the pan. Because well, now what we're gonna do is, I have it all stretched, it looks pretty good. I sanitized my scissors. I wanna cut three fourths of the way in and about the thickness of my finger. I'm gonna go all the way around. Oops, hit the camera. All the way around. You can see what I'm doing. Yep, you can see, that's good. Like I said, three fourths of the way, all the way in, where you're almost gonna cut it uh, off. Okay, so now you're going to stretch, push it out just a little as you go, and you're going to twist each one. I want you to be able to see that. So I stretch it out and twist. And so it makes the ring just a little bit bigger. As you're going, and you can see all the rings on the inside. Look how nice they look. So again, just pull and stretch the dough just a little. And over here. There. So now we have the ring there. We have our kolachi ring. And we have our, no, this is our kolachi. This is our hazelnut ring. Okay. All right show you kind of a close-up so that's our hazelnut ring that's our kolachi now I'm going to proof these again they're going to go three-fourths of the way till they get light and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my fingers here and I'm going to do little triangles like this okay so I can show you I'm gonna do one so I'm gonna do that after I proof it but I just want to show you because I want to save time on showing you. I'm going to just fill these with different all our fillings that we had before last week. So we're going to use the same fillings. Uh, and then I'm, so I'm going to show you the finished product. I'm going to proof these. I'll fill the kolache. You don't need to see that. And, uh, and then you'll see the final product when they come out of the oven. So I will be right back. Uh, put these in the proofer.